do our year in review. From extreme weather to political scandal, every month seemed to have its fair share of big news in Oklahoma. Tune News reporter Sarah Goldenberg goes month by month, taking a look at some of the top stories of 2011. A historic blizzard rings in the new year, bringing green country to a standstill. I guess the traditional salt and sand ain't cutting it this time around. More than a foot of snow leads to empty shelves at grocery stores and dozens of stranded drivers. A month later, big changes for Tulsa Public Schools. Project Schoolhouse eventually shuts down 14 schools in an effort to save millions. In April, a powerful tornado rips across the small town of Tushka at dusk, killing two, injuring dozens, and destroying Tushka's only school. Whenever all this started, it, it just it blew and on that porch I went. But the worst of tornado season hits in May. Oh gosh, that is a monster tornado. An EF5 tornado tears across Joplin, Missouri on May 22nd, killing 162 people and injuring more. The devastation stretches for miles. Hundreds of homes are ripped off their foundations. A hospital destroyed and a community shaken. The Lord helped us. All my family is alive, and that's what I am proud of. A silent threat colors green country's lakes in July. Blue-green algae is found in popular lakes, leading to closures and warnings at the height of tourist season. In September, Tulsa Mayor Bartlett's chief of staff finds himself in the middle of an ethics investigation. Terry Simonson resigns from his position. October brings an end to an ongoing election battle for a new principal chief of the Cherokee Nation. Both candidates, Bill John Baker and Chad Smith, had been declared winners. After several recounts and finally a special election, Bill John Baker walks away as chief. November gets off to a shaky start as dozens of earthquakes shake Oklahoma. Boom. And then all of a sudden your house will just go... Start vibrating. A record setting 5.6 earthquake damages several buildings near the earthquake's epicenter in Prague. <laughs> then another OSU plane crash claims the lives of four. Coaches of the women's basketball team, Kurt Budke and Miranda Serna, die in the crash. The whole town, we're all just, there's, there's just a, a subdued spirit, you know. But as a people of faith, we. We just intuitively know that there's, there's something more, that this is not the end for them. Earlier this year, the university marked the 10-year anniversary of the plane crash that claimed the lives of 10 men affiliated with the men's basketball team. The year ends with a shocking announcement. Kevin Sweat is charged with murdering 13-year-old Taylor Placker and 11-year-old Skyla Whitaker in Walika more than three years ago. You know, we know this is step one in the journey to justice for our girls and that it's been three years, six months, and one day since they were killed. We've waited for news like this that long. All of these stories are likely to shape our news in the coming year. Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.